Hi, very good morning. Happy Sunday and happy Easter. I hope your days are going okay and you are all staying safe. Please follow your government regulation by staying home. Staying safe is very important at the moment. So, a couple of days back, I posted my YouTube video regarding my Pandemic Diaries collaboration where I wanted you to collaborate with me and I'm, I'm so overwhelmed with all the responses that I've been getting. So this is Lockdown Diaries Volume 1. This is based on all the inputs that I have received so far. The more inputs I get from everywhere else, uh, I will be collaborating it and uh, we'll be releasing Volume 2 very soon. So let's go through all the responses that you guys have sent me. First, what did you know about pandemic before? Hello, my name is Anna. I'm living in Portugal, originally from Hungary. I have a one and a half year old daughter. I have a husband. I'm Andre, 34 years old and living in Lisbon. Currently, I'm unemployed and staying in quarantine with my wife and my one and a half year old daughter. Well, pretty much what uh, social media told us. Nothing more, nothing less. My name is Crystal and I'm recording the video from Costa Rica. Well, I didn't know anything about the pandemic before it started, other than that it started in China. Um, but that was pretty much it. Hello everyone, good evening. Hello, hi, uh, we are Mr. and Mrs. Khan from uh, Qatar. When you heard about the pandemic? Yeah, in the past, uh, the simplest one, the HIV AIDS. I think a few years back it was at SARS. Like, uh, yeah, 2003. Right. Mm -hmm. My name is Ishmi Kaur. I am 10 years old. I am G. Singh. I am 7 years old. I knew nothing about this pandemic before because no one had ever imagined such a big disease. I never knew about this because I didn't thought that so big virus disease can ever go on full the world and no world can and no place can stop this disease so it is very dangerous for hello and good evening namaste my name is pooja and i am cabin crew by profession well to be honest um before jan 2020 i never really gave a significant thought to the word pandemic or I did any research, even though I did know the definition of pandemic and epidemic, um, I never really gave a thought to it. Hi, my name is Sabah. I am 33 years old and currently in a 24-hour quarantine uh, based in Abu Dhabi. I honestly did not know much. I never took the time to ever research what uh, the people who have faced pandemics before have been through. I never gave time for any of that. In fact, it's only when things started getting serious now that I actually maybe start researching it in the beginning, uh, maybe in the early weeks of March. I hadn't given any thoughts to what a pandemic is and how to deal with it before that. This pandemic, I don't know. Of course, now we all are aware of it, isn't it? Using mask, social distancing, using gloves. So not common, isn't it? My age is uh, 26, location is uh, Abu Dhabi, and profession is a uh, work in hospitality. For me, I knew the word pandemic and I knew what it meant. Um, I know pandemic is when sh up. My name is Lavanya. I'm a flight attendant on a home quarantine right now. Honestly, I don't know anything. I The word is also something that I'm unfamiliar with. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, sound very dumb over here <laughs> because uh, before I had no idea about pandemic. So uh, when it started all, uh, so I did my research and uh, I googled, I read articles, so yeah, now I'm well updated about it. Hello everyone, my name is Shikhar Mittal, I am from Ilhabad. I didn't know anything about this pandemic before. I only heard the word Corona in the month of December, but we, but I didn't focus till it came to India. I didn't know anything about pandemic actually. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Rehan. To be honest, initially I just thought it was a flu outbreak that took place in a wet market in one country. And uh, I didn't really think too much about it, to be honest, because you hear about these things all the time. And you know how like news and media are constantly bombarding us with information every day. So you tend to filter out a lot of the stuff. But um, obviously things started getting more serious. 
uh, but you don't really understand the seriousness of the situation unless and until it has like a more direct impact on your life and your surrounding. So that's where it has stood as of today. Question number two. How did this pandemic affect you? And what are the struggles that you are facing? Not only me, but uh, the entire set of the cabin crew in the world, they are suffering. As most of the airline, we have stopped flying, ex except for the cargo and rescue flight. But still, the operations are uh, just 25%. Most of the time, we are on standbys. Though if we have layovers, then we have lots of restrictions. Like we are not allowed to step out from our hotel room. Even we cannot meet the set of crew, we cannot go out together, we cannot eat together. So yes. the best thing is either be in the hotel room from the time you check in to check out. So the struggle really is the fact that I'm not even able, uh, allowed to step outside of my apartment for anything or the premises of the building. Just the mental uh, stress that I have every time I see the news and all the things that are happening to the, the less fortunate ones, the underprivileged or, uh, you know, all these countries where there are several deaths. So it has definitely mentally uh, shaken me up and I'm sure the whole of the world. In our daily life, we all are struggling. Not catching up with friends, family, loved ones. Not only these small little things, going out for groceries, going out for a walk, everything has stopped, completely there is a stop button and we don't know when we can just put it on. We didn't find any struggles as the assistance services were available to us. Uh, professionally, being in hospitality, the industry is on its knees. I am on home quarantine, so I cannot even go to buy a grocery or anything and it's affecting me and my health. I am in Costa Rica. I've been staying here for a month. I was supposed to be here on vacation only, but the country closed borders, everything is on lockdown, so I'm here. Couldn't go back to India or we couldn't go anywhere, so we are, yeah, we wasted kind of. This pandemic has affected me very much and I'm missing my school and my friends. In school, I can't meet my friends and my teachers and Friends, I can't play with my friends or see them. The pandemic has affected me a lot because the struggles I'm facing are very big. I can't meet my cute new teachers, teachers and I can't see their faces nicely. I am currently pregnant. It is my first baby. So I assume that I'm always going to be around my family. My mom's always going to be around me. My, I would have uh, this shower of uh, love and support from my family again and from my friends. Uh, it's not that I don't have it. I miss their presence and it would have been nice if I had someone to hold my hand. Every time I feel that there's something weird going on with my body, it would it would have just been nice to be with my mom around especially. It has definitely affected my emotional well-being. Lucky to be in a country where the healthcare system is quite uh, advanced. Uh, the government is taking all the necessary proactive measures required to contain this disease. Struggle is really no struggle, especially if I compare to people who are actually going through the real struggle of uh, staying alive and staying safe. I just feel like definitely it's had a huge impact on our everyday life like starting from work to places that we need to go our plans and social uh, life and everything um, yeah it's had a huge impact 360 degrees all over <laughs> one of the struggles that I'm facing is that um, you know as with I'm sure a lot of you my family is spaced out in different parts of the world so I worry for their safety um, I don't know what they're always up to. I mean, we do speak on a daily level, but uh, still, you, you, you stay concerned, right, about your family and loved ones. So yeah, that's been a bit of a struggle. Um, sometimes I wish that we were all quarantined uh, together in one house. I mean, it might get to be a bit much, but uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, you'll know that all the people that you love and care for, they're just under one roof. So that's at one consolation. So I'm unemployed, it really didn't affect me that much. Uh, you know, I was already at home taking care of my little child. Uh, so, I, you know, 
pretty cool about it. And uh, in regards to the struggles, I would say never have I spent so much time with my wife and child at the same time. <laughs> now I can't work anymore at the office, so actually I'm waiting uh, the company to bring my computer and work from home. And uh, we can take Rosinia to nursery, so actually we are now 24-7 with three of us. But we are happy. <laughs> okay, okay. Question number three. What is it that you're missing a lot uh, because now you can't go out? We can't go to the beach. We like to go to the beach just for a walk, go to the park, go for a lunch just for uh, the weekend to see families. It's easier for me to say what exactly I'm not missing. I'm really not missing work at all. Like, I think this is a blessing in disguise, so I can be lazy at home, and this is the social and responsible attitude to take. Most I'm missing right now are my school and home friends, because right now they are also at home in this big lockdown, and I can't meet them. My school is closed, and this lockdown is very much days, so I can't stay longer, so I'm missing everybody really much. I think the freedom, everyone in the entire world, they, what they must be missing is the freedom to step out, be it with friends, family or alone. And now, even if we have to do grocery or uh, buy any medication, we think 100 times before stepping out that, is this the right time or do I really need it or not? What you're missing is basically I'm missing my family a lot. Uh, I cannot see uh, them, I cannot go to them and I don't know when is all this going to uh, end. Uh, so yeah, I every day I talk to them on video calls and I miss them a lot. Uh, the second thing I'm missing majorly is flying. It's been long that uh, I'm flying, so obviously all of a sudden sitting home like this, you know, for so long, I'm so not used to it. Uh, so I I kind of feel like uh, one of my body part is missing now. So I want to get back to flying as soon as What I, I miss the most is not being able to go outside. Uh, and the fact that somebody has told us not to step out at all, it gives me even more urge to uh, go outside. So that is what I miss the most. I'm scared. The main thing which I'm missing right now is my mother. She's back home in India. I'm working in Abu Dhabi. Borders are closed. There is no chance I could see her. That's what I'm missing. Of course, Bupi, I miss uh, hanging out with you and Kev, uh, but I do miss Kate because uh, she's uh, working from home in uh, Dubai and we're not able to travel. Uh, between Emirates right now. So yeah, hopefully soon we're reunited. I think what I miss the most about not being able to go outside is the fact that I don't get to choose to stay home. I am staying home because I'm forced to stay home. And there's some really, uh, there's a part of me that resents that idea, but I know it's important and I know it's necessary. I really miss my freedom, you know, just the thought of, um, you know, just deciding to go somewhere and then you end up going there, doing stuff, you know, going out to the malls and going out for your exercises and um, not worried about things like, I don't want to touch here, I don't want to touch there, I don't want to get into close contact with too many people, I need to sanitize, um, you know, not having all this paranoia constantly and just going out there and enjoying the day. I really miss that. I'm definitely missing my friends and family, not being able to meet them, go for a couple of beers or shopping. However, what I miss the most is the freedom or the choice to go out is something that I'm missing out on. Missing the way, like, you know, uh, we are not able to go out freely, roam around freely, go to the malls. Yeah, everything is closed. Yeah. We get scared that uh, we will get infected through some random person or by touching on the surfaces or anywhere. So. I'm missing right now is my social life. I cannot hang out. I cannot have some fun. I miss going out with my friends, uh, meeting people that I haven't seen for years, and of course the human touch. That's what I really miss um, in times like this. Question number four: What do you think the outside world will look like when the pandemic is over? I think we'll all be more conscious, we'll all realize uh, mortality and um, to be very honest, 
the amount of sanitizers that we use, way too much. I was never a fan and I feel like uh, the more sanitizers you use, uh, the more you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna allow bacteria to get immune to it. So maybe the next struggle. Ooh. I hope just like me, everyone has much, much, much more respect for the people working in the medical field. And I hope that there are more donations and funds going towards that field for more research development for any future outputs. I assume that there will be a future where there are less offices, less office spaces, and people will just be working from home. Really less hate, because if there's anything that this virus is teaching everybody right now is if the virus doesn't discriminate, who are we to discriminate? Um, definitely, it will not be a very happy place for quite some time. Um, families who have lost their loved ones will be scarred for life. Um, our economy and our healthcare system will be exhausted and tired for sure. All our healthcare workers and uh, volunteers such as doctors, paramedics, nurses, um, all the volunteers will definitely go through a rough time. Um, something like PTSD or something, having witnessed so much hardships and deaths and uh, ups and downs. Um, I think countries won't be the same anymore towards tourists um, and for sure tourism will take a biggest hit. Um, I don't see people going out that often now, especially not for recreational uh, reasons. Um, I believe there might be a little bit of racism and xenophobia as well towards a certain nationality or certain race or people who look like a certain uh, race. So they might face some hardships as well. I think we, we all need to really prepare ourselves for the aftermath of this pandemic because definitely the pandemic itself will have a negative impact, but how we deal with it and how we what we do after it is also very, very important. Everybody is going to get overly cautious about everything that we're doing. So people to be free of pollution, uh, people to be more hygienic and, um, uh, you know, we're going to take care of many things like uh, health. Health wise, we would we wouldn't take anything for granted. So for smallest of uh, symptoms that we have for anything, we're going to go to the doctor. We're going to consult and check ourselves because um, we saw how it spread from one person. to yeah. So we would we would be overly cautious. Uh, people might get um, revenge for it. be some retaliation of, um, you know, uh, whether or not I'm, I'm just imagining, I'm just thinking out loud. I'm thinking uh, some countries would retaliate uh, for the fact uh, that they were not helped enough. Or oh, well, I think like the world will look good, that everybody can enjoy. The birds will be happy, animals will be happy, and earth can breathe. Everybody will look good. My answer for this is that the earth will look very clean and clear. We will find the importance of being with our family more than being outside or being work. And we can enjoy the clear sky and we can help Mother Nature breathe fresh air after all these polluted days and years. I think um, when we human beings, we are inside our house or uh, in short, we are in lockdown, Mother Nature is breathing. It's breathing the way it is supposed to be and uh, hopefully when the lockdown gets over, when there is no more curfew and then we all are allowed to step out and uh, everything is back to normal. I hope uh, we human being we will start appreciating what we have. Yeah, we all see on the news that, uh, you know, uh, all most of the animals, they're coming on streets because, uh, you know, humans are not there. Uh, even the fishes, they're coming to the shore. Uh, the air is less polluted. Uh, so, yeah, it's all going to be very beautiful. Uh, we are definitely learning a lot from this. Basically, the nature is telling us that, you know, we don't need you. Oh, and the things... The, uh, the world will look like a huge party once the pandemic is over. Trauma, big trauma. The people will be recovering from like a, a big trauma, like you know what has happened in the past kind of months. World War. Yes, right? a lot of job loss already happened, and lots more to come. It has affected the entire economy of uh, many countries, and like lots, lot of hardship to be like encountered. Yeah, in the in the in the coming uh, you know days or months. 
people will still maintain the social distancing. Question number five. Can you take anything positive from this? This situation has taught me that we should be sticking to our family and cherish moments with them as well. Health is more important than anything else. Uh, jobs come and go, but as long as we're healthy and our family is healthy, we're okay. Now I think it's the recovery phase of the entire uh, ecosystem and the environment around us, which is good. And uh, also you can see how people are uh, coming up, taking care of each other and uh, yeah, helping each other. So able to spend a lot of time on uh, what we do normally, like studies, like- Correct, and uh, home workout basically. Yeah, To keep yourself of fit. I use this time to um, do a lot of self-reflection. And I reflected upon uh, a lot of things in my life, like reevaluating relationships, friendships, um, paying some attention to areas that I did not pay attention for a long time. Uh, restructuring my short-term goals, um, thinking about where I'm going with life, what I want to do with life. So it's actually been quite productive. I am loving how people are coming together and helping each other out. I think I'm spending more time with my husband now than ever before. Learning how to bake. I'm trying on new recipes online. This pandemic has brought me very close to my friends and my family and it has made me realize that nothing is more important than emotional and physical well-being so our health our body is the most important thing more than any luxury or any convenience or anything uh, so you know the more we are hygienic the less cases there will be for uh, any disease uh, plus uh, i have realized that money fame nothing is important what is important is uh, you're taking care of your health uh, so next time being more alert so if you have any any flu any symptoms just go yourself to the doctor and show uh, you don't need to wait and get it cured on its own you don't know how bad it is and the second thing is uh, being uh, close to your loved ones uh, right now I, I, I did not get a chance to go this time but uh, yeah if I, I feel like staying close to your family and loved ones is very important. When things fall back in place, I'm never going to take anything for granted. I'm going to make utmost use of the resources available first before I buy something else. And yes, spend more time with my loved ones. What I take from this is we human being, we are capable of anything and everything. And at the end of what is most is your friends and family. Nothing else matters. We will all now have uh, very plausible excuses to have a belly once the summer arrives. We go to the beach. I learned that we should not pollute the earth and we should keep animals and birds safe. We should not eat birds and animals. We should not harm anybody and we should not litter and harm the earth. So after these questions, we are coming to the end. Bye-bye! Well, you heard all the responses. And all the people involved in this video and uh, making it possible. Thanks a lot. You guys deserve this from me. And uh, they will be volume 2 for sure. So, if you haven't sent me your response, please go ahead and send it to me. If you know my number, send it to uh, through WhatsApp. Or you can email me. However, the more details will be in the description below. Until then, stay home and stay safe. Alright, ciao.